You dare to challenge me, peasant? Do you not know who I am, huh, when you rearrange the letters? Yes, I'm the bald balls. Okay, the rules of the challenge are quite simple. We're obviously not allowed to use eggs. I have used the seals that you have in the game. And if you didn't know that, Poe has more pickup range but less HP. Okay, so that's quite good because that means we pick up more items. We are playing on green acres, hyper mode, no hurry, with arcanas, with limit break, with inverse mode, without endless. The moment the reaper spawns, we won. A lot of people ask me why my stage is not inverted and it's simply a setting here, but just that you know for 100% that there's nothing cheesy going on. Okay, I turned it off, so... Well, nothing changed really. <laughs> Everything looks the same. So I will try hard today, okay? I will use the three E's to win this game. Experience, endurance, and intelligence, okay? I will do this. And if you love seeing me suffer in challenges like these, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. We are so close to 100k subscribers and it would be amazing to hit it this year. So what is the difficulty here? Well, the enemies have plus 200% HP, so triple the amount of HP and Green Acres also doubles that, which means either it's at 400 or 600%. Either way, it's a lot, okay. So I think what I definitely need is Garlic level 2, please. We have to check this first. That's horrible. Okay, that's utterly horrible. Um, we need... We need garlic at one higher level, please. Okay. Victory sword. Victory. You, you, you. Oh, but that only works when I actually get hit, right? No, but it also attacks on its own. Okay. King Bible. Very good. We have to prepare for all kinds of bosses. And the difficulty with Green Acres is not only do the enemies have more HP, but also Botcher. Yes. Double the ball power. Eight balls flying around me. This is beautiful. This is mesmerizing. Okay. 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 Even four more balls. No, that's too far away, right? Yeah, we want to have, but we want to have balls, but we don't want to have them like, you know, too far away because how do we use the balls then? Doesn't matter. Okay, so now we have Mirage Rope where the enemies, when they touch it, they get frozen. And now I just need one more thing. A tractor! Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Okay, let's go. I told you, it's the three E's. Combine the three... Gatia Maris. Yes, the cheating. The cheating is starting. So Gatia Mari will eat the chicken sometimes, which powers it up and makes it more powerful. There will be a period of time where whenever the cat walks past me, it will scratch me, okay, and I'm crying because I'm about to die then. But we can do this. We will not need Pentagram today or anything else because we have Mad Groove, okay? We will use every single thing that I usually ignore because I say, ah, oh, that makes the video too boring because, you know, it's an insta win. No, we will use everything today and the sad part is that doesn't even mean we'll win okay i'm fairly conf there's a bed sitting on me oh is that the mad forest bed it is right that chest can actually evolve yeah in case you didn't know that mad forest minute one bed if you get the chest 30 percent chance multiplied with luck then it will actually evolve your weapon but that doesn't matter so the main difficulty in these no movement challenges is we are not allowed to move and people seem to always forget in the comments because they're like dex just max out pentagram and when you max out pentagram then you have moon you know and then you can pull in the xp no but you can't get a chest guaranteed you know it's a gamble and if the gamble doesn't work out, then you have a maxed out pentagram that no longer wipes the experience and you just sit there doing nothing. Similar to this. Look at this. The chest is right next to me. It's almost tickling my balls, but I can't pick it up. Oh, calm down, Dex. Calm down, Dex. It's all good. You're already two minutes in. Come on, you got this. We are pretty much like 7% or something like this in, okay? I got this. No bosses have spawned so far. Very good. Rosary. Beautiful. There's another chicken. My cats will be so utterly broken. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> I don't know if this will actually be enough. No, I'm sure I can. I don't have magic wand to push back the bosses. Oh no, oh that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, I, uh, I don't need that, right? It's totally fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I need to get the track top up, okay? I think whenever the mad groove pulls it in now, I will always get all the experience. So we are safe, okay? So now we need to power up as fast as possible. What do we focus on? Do we focus on a defensive weapon like King Bible or Mirage Rope? 
Um, I think Katya Mari here. But yeah, so Mirage Rope is amazing. It makes these images. I thought they are spread out. Why they are all on top of me? Um, but when the enemies touch them, they get frozen. So when a boss appears, you know, that can get frozen at least, they will not be able to kill me. Huge. Very Teruna. I mean, looking at what I have, I think I actually want to have Duplicator, right? Plus two projectiles is insane. On the ones where it works, at least, yeah. Let's get to Ragesu now. Mostly that it's out of the pool, that it's no longer offered to me, but I really need to find a final item, so Duplicator. I can't think of another one that would make sense. We could go for Pomorola to evolve the... Okay, sure. To evolve the garlic, but again, the problem is we'll most likely never ever get a chest on top of us. So um, l let's ignore that. Oh yeah, we got a random wave from Gallo Tower. And they just, they just respawn when they die. So if they die on top of me, they just respawn on top of me. Oh, that's great. That's, that's not concerning at all. I need more Mirage ropes. Yes, yes. Okay, th th that doesn't help. When they die, the effect is gone. I need Empty Tome up. I need to max out Empty Tome. Okay, very important. Oh no, I'll actually die, won't I? Oh, I need cats to fight on top of me? That actually happened. And my cats killed me, or something. Or the enemies, I don't know. Probably a mix of both. Okay, one revival is gone. Don't worry about it, we still got this. Okay, the boss, I, I would really like him to die. That would be great. We are about to hit four minutes, that means Mad Groove will go off again. And the best part is it will draw in all the breakables on the stage. So we have chickens again for our cats. Ah, uh, do you see that? Um, do we go for garlic? It, the, the issue is the enemies have so much HP, it just doesn't do anything. Uh, let's go for Mirage Rogue. Maybe I'm also estimating that wrong and it would be the best thing to go for garlic. Am I just dying again? Oh, please end the wave. Don't tell me. No, I don't want to lose my revival here. Please, just let me keep one revival at least. Um, Attract up just that it's maxed out. Wasn't really necessary to go all this far because Mad Groove pulls it in. Okay, okay, but this is looking good. This is looking very promising. So far. These dudes super far away. They can't harm me anymore. And even if they want to, it, it, it doesn't matter. Um, let's go for Botcha here. I think Botcha is an amazing weapon, right? If I'm not mistaken. Probably, possibly. You know what I should have done? I should have unironically went for the Pomerula. Because we heal more from the chickens. Like it doubles it, so we'll 90 HP. That would have been insane. Because one chicken pretty much fully heals me. Yeah... Okay, now we have to wait another minute until we get the, the breakables again. That's not great. So let's talk about the good and the bad of playing on this stage. The good is, you can get super easy waves, okay? Where otherwise, there, there would be... Um... A major stopping point that you need to overcome somehow with certain strength. Here it's random, you don't know which wave you'll get from which stage. And you may even dodge the major critical bosses by doing that. Um, but here you just have to gamble, but the problem is you have to gamble on so many waves that you definitely can't guarantee or just attempt to go for perfect run, okay? Oh, the boss died. I almost died there. Cats, please don't scratch me. Please don't scratch me. How am I actually still killing the enemies? How is this enough damage? Maybe I should focus on garlic and botcher. Yeah, but first empty tome. I need- man, why- why is the mirage rope not uh, walking out? They should, like, push each other out. It doesn't do anything. It's just on top of me. <laughs> what? That's not how this weapon works. That's not what I, why I bought you. No. What are you doing? Like, it's supposed to push each other out, each of the clones. And they push each other to the left, to the right, to the top, to the bottom, everywhere. At least we are healing. Mocking Bible is beautiful to push away the enemies. Now, here's the problem. There are some bosses and enemies in the game that simply do not take any knockback, you know. So, King Bible for them is entirely useless. But do you see the amount of damage numbers? Yes. The cats, when they fight with these clouds, they attack 33 times a second. Did you hear that? Let me say that again 33 times a second okay well the damage is low right so it doesn't matter a lot wrong because when they eat chickens they get increasing damage amounts well it's actually decreasing damage amounts like it starts at 0 0.9 something and then it slowly goes down until it hits 0 0.05 but you, you, you get it okay um why did i just get wiped out okay the mirage rope is completely useless <laughs> Wait, actually, it gets triggered, but I get hit first. Uh... Am I just dead? Yeah, well, you know... So, I'm having a little bit of a conundrum, and yes, I only said that because I wanted to say conundrum. 
Um, first of all, we have something very interesting going on that I should definitely focus on. Like these two major killers. Uh, but I don't get any experience. However, at four minutes, all the experience will be rearranged. And at that point, there's a chance it flies over me. And I will get the red gem. If I get this, I will get so many... It just moved over there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. Um, didn't need that either way. Don't care. Why, why is wings even unlocked? What? Oh god, oh god, okay, it's fine, I just have to survive two more minutes. Wait a second, I'm leveling up again. Oh, oh no, I'm not leveling up anymore, right, okay. Let's rearrange them again, okay, and how about the red gem flies from here to over here, Mish the game, that would be amazing. Okay, so I made a decision. On the bottom left of your screen, you will see a screen recording of the recording time that you always know, you know, when jumps have the plants will be there. All of these are impossible to kill. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, you, you'll know when jumps happen. Okay. Great. Spell strike turned out to be utterly amazing. Watch this. Okay, nowadays it has a huge... A Do you see that? Isn't that amazing? It's huge, huge amounts of damage. Super great, okay? So, hopefully this will carry... Nah, it's not working right, isn't it? Yeah. I need the botcher. Like, having both of them is so important. Attract op, very good though. Okay, I also lost runs because I didn't have attract op, so that's really amazing. But, I need Tiragisu now, and I especially need botcher. Please... Ah, uh, wings. I have to rule. The Laurel is okay. Night Sword doesn't really heal me. I tried that out. Trust me. <laughs> I tried a lot. <laughs> you know? I don't just sit around and do nothing when you see these time skips. There were a lot of attempts and a lot of things that I tried out. Silverwind is actually okay. You heal a decent... I'm about to die. <gasps> oh my god, that was clutch. Okay, that was amazing. That, that, that was a super chicken. Another chicken. So now we want to have Pomorula. Pomorula turned out to be amazing. Like, you heal up so much, it's great. Even though, like, when a boss sits on top of you, you'll still die. Nothing changes about that. But it is very good. It is very good, and it will mean we can evolve garlic and... So, yeah, this is where I need Botcher. Where's my Botcher man? Uh, okay. Yeah, that doesn't help at all. This doesn't help at all. Okay, I'm so utterly stupid, so I'm used to just cancel the recording and restart for me as a signal. Hey, there's a new run. So, um, yeah, the 30 minutes that I just had, they're gone. Just add this on top, please. Okay. Yeah, I, I wasn't the biggest brain. It just makes it easier, you know, to import the files into my editor, because then I know this is where a new storyline starts, you know. Ah, Dex, you idiot. <laughs> I literally just talked about it. Huh... That could be interesting, because the weapon is actually quite overpowered. Um, sure. The good thing is they fall down in the center, you know. So yes, I will still waste a huge amount of experience that I'll not get. However, whenever the mad roof pops off, then it rearranges the experience and I'll pick up a bunch, allowing me to get more experience again. So hopefully this works and I really need a track orb. Like if I don't get it, it's still over because I'm not powerful enough to deal with bosses. But that could be something that may actually carry me. And funny enough, it's a super rare weapon. It has a rarity of 1 compared to the whip that has a rarity of 100. Okay, I need I need the track orb here. If I don't get the track orb, this is just over. Please. Please. Uh, okay, I'll take the Pumo. Okay, okay, multiple level ups. Nice. Attract all. Attract all. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Doesn't help me because it rearranged all the experience around me. Okay, great. I will not. Well, I'm getting experience again. I could get attract up here. Um, Clover would actually help the spawn of the candles and therefore my cats. No, I'll go for the garlic. It's always the bolts. Oh god, please, please be an easy boss at three minutes. Please don't be a hard one. Just something I can easily push. Ah, that's, that's, that's easy. That's library. Right. Well, okay, do I actually have enough to push him away though? Oh... I don't like when he's below me because his head will get pushed into me. So far, so good. I actually barely can kill the enemies, right? Oh, okay, perfect head placement. Yes, okay, the boss is dealt with. At four minutes, we'll pull it in again because we have more pickup range this time. We'll get more experience than before. That means hopefully we get like three level ups. It all depends whether I get the red gem down there or not. If I get this, we'll get a huge amount of level ups and I need to max out the attract orb. I need to max out the cats. I need to max out empty tome. I need to max out Pomorola. Very important. It actually heals us quite a lot. Like, look at our HP regeneration. 0 0.9. Yeah, that's nothing. Okay, well, that's a little bit sad. It doesn't matter, I can still bump it up, but please, at 4 minutes, this red gem fly over to the top somewhere here, that I get it. 
Okay, so there we go. I still see the red gem. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. I will go for victories. I could also banish. Is it worth banishing? No, I I feel like I will just spend the majority of the time banishing, right? And the tome, very good. La Roba is okay, sure. Pumorula, that is what I... No, that's sad. Okay. I got a magnet. I got a magnet. Okay. Okay, 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 Alex. You had this a couple of times in the past. This is when something works out really well. You have to be very cautious what you do. Amor, do I go for that? Yes, I will go for that. Magic wand, because we need to... Uh, we got everything. It's perfect, because now I only get the stuff I already own. You know, that makes it way easier to get everything. I'll actually go for the Empty Tome here. Was that stupid? I can now go for the track Orb. Now Empty Tome is maxed out. Pomorola, um, Gatia Mari, uh, uh, Laurel? Laurel over Armor? Sure. Laurel over Armor. Laurel over Armor. We'll go for Armor this time. Okay, okay. Why was the experience so far away? Doesn't matter. We don't care. We have now a very powerful build. Now the question is, our build is determined, right? We can't change it. We may evolve the garlic. In fact, I should just max it out, right? For the chance to evolve it. Yeah. And same thing for the magic wand, because it can still randomly happen that you get a chest. And because we are playing on this stage here, it can happen that a boss spawns at 5 minutes, at 7 minutes or so, that can evolve a chest when it's from a stage that can evolve with all chests. Like, for example, they blend like for example capella all of them evolve so this is kind of what i'm hoping for and that means i need to max out garlic asap and then i need to max out the magic wand and we are good to go now is this enough to deal with all the bosses that exist in the game nope i already know which ones it will definitely fail with those that don't take knockback because they'll just run through at me and kill me so just don't get them. Don't get a stalker. <laughs> don't don't get any of those fishy things, you know, that are super powerful. Work. Uh, why? No. Okay. Um, not even the furniture is strong enough to push through. This is insane. I can't. Can I survive an entire minute of this? I don't think so, right? There's no way I can. It's just over. I think that was it. I will get a level up, so I will specifically target something that would help me here, maybe armor. Yeah, the 30 seconds is the next step. Uh, what a meme. And at level 40, where it takes so long to... Okay, armor? Do I actually take more than one damage from them? I don't think so. I may. Okay, you know what? Let's take it. No, that, that it's not enough. It's uh, it's simply not. Katia Mari is on top of me right now. That may actually save me. That may save me. Well, we... Oh man, jetzt komm, fight, 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 yeah, you're crossing, no fight, man, whenever they cross, they have a chance to fight, just fight, fight on, yeah, okay, 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 so, the thing is, even though, if you reach six minutes, that it's not over, right, we have to kill the rest of the enemies, we have one, we have one rival left, what, oh, I never died, oh, okay, okay, well, um, easy peasy, well, <laughs> I lost all of my revival six minutes in. That's not good. Couldn't you have had a rosary in there? In all of these items? Like, really? Sure. Yeah, great. Now I got a chicken after I died. Okay, so this means I can pick up a new item. What do I want to pick up? What is, like, really, really good to evolve something? Torona? Well, but, yeah, I will never... Well, I could actually do that. No, but I, it's not guaranteed that I evolve, but it's so many stats, right? Okay, I'll pick it up. And because it's so many stats across the entire board that will help everything, I need to max out the furniture, though. It's very important that it, it's able to get through the enemies, so I need to bump up its damage. Which is insane to say, because that thing deals a huge amount of damage, but it's not enough for inverse mode green acres. It's not enough. Okay, um, yeah, where's my furniture? <laughs> Okay, so far we're doing good. I think the cats had quite a few chickens. Okay, okay, that's an easy stage. Wait, that that's um, a library. Okay, okay, easy peasy. Is it easy peasy though? It's like the hardest wave on library early on. Um, I mean, I'm doing it, yeah. I just need like, Alter, give me doch la roba. That is, I'm getting, ah, the, the, because remember, the run was so insane with the magnet, right? I can't just hop into another run, get exactly the same items, and it will work out the same. Gallo Tower, oh, is that Gallo Tower? That is Gallo Tower, right? That's not Capella. 
No, I think that's Ganon Tower. But yeah, I can't guarantee that I'll get a magnet again. Like, even if I reset a million of times... Well, okay, if I do that, then eventually, yeah. Okay, so they last 1.5 seconds longer. Don't ask me why some of these numbers are so wrong that it says minus 3 seconds, but it's 0.3. Um, okay. Okay, okay. 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 I feel it. There's an upgrade for La Robot. This is the furthest we've ever been, I think. Okay, very good. 41 minutes in. Keep in mind, Halta, give me doch... <laughs> Please! Like, I'm fine if you end up losing because this entire build is bullshit. But at least give me the stuff that I selected. Okay, I selected all of these. But give me the stuff that I want, okay? Just cross out the roguelike element for a moment. Roguelite, I should say. Just give me... Well, I don't even know if that's part of roguelite. I'll... <laughs> I'm going insane here. I'm going mental. <laughs> you don't understand why, but I have done so many of these challenges and I know if this fails, I'll sit here for another two hours until I get the next better run to show off. Okay, Gatia Mari, one more projectile, very good. We just have to focus on the cats. At one point, they will be ridiculously strong and kill everything, but we need to get there. So please, let me get my furniture that I can throw at the enemies and squash their faces, okay? <laughs> 10 a.m. in the morning, angry German screaming at his screen. <laughs> <laughs> ich brauche keine Hilfe und Support. Ich brauche keine Hilfe und Support. Starte das verdammte Spiel! <laughs> I'm pain. I'm in pain and suffering. There's a chest next to me. Okay, listen. <laughs> Does this weapon exist? He's not even in the game anymore. Where is my La Roba? I've got the few level ups in it, that means it's possible, okay? Just give it to me, please! Because we are just playing a roulette here, where the next wave will be super difficult, like one wave eventually will be super difficult, and it's over. And I'll just be like, imagine I would have gotten the robber. Okay, oh my god, we got the biggest farm wave in this game. Minute 9 on the library, and the minute 8 was also library. Okay, listen, this is like the perfect... <gasps> I'm gonna freaking punch your face, you stupid weapon. Give me. <laughs> calm, Dex. Calm. Calm. It's all good, okay? If you've done a no movement challenge with someone like Domerio before and you sat there for seven hours until you got it, and the worst part is after you're done recording, you're not done. Because you gotta edit those seven hours and put that in into reasonable video, you know? So I'm like, please, just give me my stuff. I'm barely leveling up anymore. Yeah, all the experiences out there because my cats were like, you know what? I'll fight over there. I'll fight over there. I don't care. Sure. Okay. So at 10 minutes, we have a ridiculously high chance to get all the accumulated experience because it flies over us again. But also, we will get breakables. There could be a magnet in there. Or freeze. A freeze would also be nice, you know, for the 10-minute boss. So please. Magnet? No. It's a plant. No. Well, that's good. Isn't it? Okay, Laurel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, finally! <laughs> this little dingus. We got a rosary. Oh. Well, I made it easy. Well, I made it really easy. Oh, sure. Oh, ah. Um. Uh huh. La Roba, I need to really max you out because I think the final level is another 20 damage on top of it. Why is it only dealing 40 damage? Isn't it super strong? Well, I'm dying. <laughs> Hello? Wait, what? Doesn't this do like 100 something damage or so? Yeah, come. They they kill me even through my cat clouds. What? Yeah, okay, I have a feeling a robot got really nerfed. Oh, that's not good. 10 damage. Is that enough to push through? I, I need it. It pushed through. <laughs> we just got to the point that it pushes through the moment that I die. <laughs> okay, new strategy because I'm becoming insane. I will go for Bloodline Arcana, that means we build up HP, hopefully at least. And that should mean I will be a... Grace Shubali. Yeah, spawn stuff around us. Perfect. That means I can kill the enemies with contact damage, okay? Do you see that how it's going up? Let's see how this works, this retaliates. And may steal hearts. Oh, that's good. 
Okay, sure, sure, let's do that, let's do that. No, that sounds good. I'm, the, okay, so the main issue is, eventually, there's a wave of enemies, like minute 6 from the Mad Forest, where you have these green guys that are super tanky, and you usually just run away from that. But I can't run away. I can't, okay? They just overrun and kill me. So, you know what? Let's go for Clover as well. Let's go full greed mode, okay? We can do this. Huh, Silver Prince. Do you think this helps in any way? It, it could, as long as it actually kills enemies, you know, the problem is, the enemies are so powerful, the odds of this killing anything is, is, is like, near zero. The ones that you see is, I think, from the sword, and when you see a two, it's from the silver wind, as far as I remember. I think it heals you for two, right? Let's see if you see a random two. Mirage rope. You know what? Let's do it. Okay, how messed up is my build? Let's see, we have lifesteal, we have lifesteal, we have freezing, we have items, we have cats. Honestly, I think the build is not bad. I should, honest, yeah, I should just go for a super aggressive route. So something like, can Lapador? Is that too much? No, let's do it, okay. Bigger area means bigger cat fights, you know, I don't have to be so concerned where they hit. Also means bigger freeze zone. Um, this pet can actually evolve. <laughs> if that happens, that would be great. Yeah, and then we'll go for spinach as well. Duplicator. Anything else? Anything else that I would... Yeah, Tiragisu and armor. Oh, that's way too much. Oh, yeah. Right. I wanted that badly. Okay. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Right. I think... Uh, so what was the build again? Turagi soon and spinach, right? Or duplicator? Duplicator is more important. You need more cats around so it's more likely that they'll start a f fight. That was amazing. That was beautiful. Yeah, that was also vacuum, in case you didn't see. In the wrong order, first the vacuum, then the rosary. But hey, that's fine. Yeah, look at that. There we have a fight. Hey, this could actually work out. No. That's more important than Tiragisu, right? Yeah, that's... Is it, though? I'm not even sure if it is, because... Well... It, oh, I'm dead. Uh, that, that was just it. Waves like these is like GG. I mean, I could try it more healing. I, I'll actually go for the duplicator, and then I have to go for healing. Can you die on top of me to give me a chest? Yeah, you get pushed away. Never mind. Man, oh, come, stop spawning on top of me, please. I need Pomerola here. This is... Yeah, okay, perfect. I need... Uh, well... I could also just have um, droppables, breakables, you know, from the fireworks. That would also work, I guess. Okay, empty tome. Huge, huge, huge. That means the greatest jubilee fires off more often. Also very good. So far, honestly, we are fine. Like, it's not amazing, but I'm actually healing a lot. Do you see the, all the ones there? That's why I wanted to have armor as well. Like, my build is totally scuffed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't say. I want to have Clover Max out that we have higher odds of getting food because in the end what carries me will be the cats, you know, their damage. So I need to get them going as fast as possible. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, this is okay. This is fine, I would say. It's not perfect, but it's fine. Silverwind, honestly, that heals me the most, I think, you know, because every one of them, whenever they kill an enemy, they have a chance to heal me. So that sounds good with a horde of enemies around. Oh, I should actually focus on the weapons I can evolve, right? That's a concern for 10 minutes onwards. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Um, do we have a build that can actually deal with bosses? I don't think so, right? Like, we have no weapon that actually shoots away a boss, except for the sword. That means I should focus on the sword, but I want to focus on the ones that can evolve. Oh, why is this so difficult? There's Clover. Let's just max this out and hope for the best. Oh, but I also need to max out Gatia Mari, right? Because, uh, yeah, mm, I could evolve this as well. And this one actually saves me. The garlic doesn't do a lot. The issue with the Soul Eater is, the evolution, it has to kill enemies that you actually heal. And it has low damage, meaning you will rarely ever get a kill with it. So it's kind of pointless to have that as a healing weapon, you know? Because if you already kill the enemies, it doesn't matter that it heals you, because you're killing the enemies. It matters when you don't kill the enemies, but then it doesn't heal you. So it's like, yeah, yeah, whatever, you know, doesn't matter. Oh, we heal 2 HP now. Oh, that's very good. And in case you're wondering, my HP is 182, so it only doubled, like that's that's not a huge increase. Kind of hope for a little bit more, but then again, with a guy that has a weapon that kills enemies close by, I guess it's kind of expected, but like, I, I really hope for a little bit more. Once we have Mirage Rope maxed out, it can evolve, so there's no pressure in maxing out something. Um, but then we'll max out the Silver Wind and the Garlic after that, I think. Yeah, that makes the most sense. More Gatia Mari means uh, more catfight laws. Huh? Huh? Sounds very good. I love it. 
Oh, and we just crossed one hour. Yeah, with the half an hour that I cut off by accident. Yeah, we just crossed one hour. Let's hope that this finishes it. Okay, this would be amazing if this run works out. I have a bad feeling, I'll be honest. I, I don't think this will work out. Because we have nothing to deal with major bosses. But who knows, you know? Uh, let's be honest, something that will end the run is more like a stalker spawning or so. <laughs> Some bogus stuff. <laughs> Uh, why did I do this? Oh yeah, I remember the three E's, yeah. Experience, endurance, and intelligence. <laughs> um, we're actually doing it. How are we doing it? Okay, Pomerola is maxed out, that's good. That means it never shows up again. We heal the maximum amount we can heal. Right now it's at 1.5, so usually it's at 0 0.5. That means, yeah, we heal just way more, okay? So instead of half, we heal 50% more, that's huge. Which is, um, is that enough? I don't know. The thing is, I also have a bunch of HP, you know. Oh, Mirage Robe is maxed out. Very good. Okay, now we will focus on the cats, then I will focus on the silver wind, then I'll focus on the sword, and then lastly, like at one point, I'll focus on the garlic, but it's like the last weapon that I would want to evolve, so I want to delay it as much as possible. Oh, the fireworks. Yeah, I need to do the fireworks right now. Huh, so I always wondered whether I could and never stopped to question whether I should. It's great that we can evolve the Mirage Robe, but what does it actually help, you know? <laughs> um, can I get a vacuum, please? I'm not getting experience anymore. Yeah, but I think um, the Mirage... There's a vacuum. The huh? What? Wasn't there a vacuum flying towards me? Don't tell me my cats ate it. They can pick them up and they can trigger it for you, but there's also a chance that they destroy it. And the more chickens they eat, the less likely... That, that was not a vacuum, right? That flew towards me. My cats, my cats wouldn't do that to me. No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure that was a vacuum. I mean, you'll see it in the slow mo. Yeah, but I think um, the mara. There's vacuum. <laughs> huh? Um, the mara. How unlucky would that be? I have so much luck. They ate so many chickens. If they actually ended up eating that vacuum, <laughs> we would have fried cat tonight. <laughs> That's very... Whoa. Oh, Capella. Ten minute, boss. Um, can you somehow get on top of me that you drop a chest in my face, please? Just sit on my face, mate. Dude, can you can you walk around? Like, to the top here? To the top? To the... No? Okay, died. Okay. Which is good. Okay, that means we have a lot of damage. But for the major bosses, that will not be enough. And still, I need a vacuum. Yay. New... <gasps> okay. Night Sword. Right, that is the best one here. Yes, I can also reroll. I should. What? You want to tell me the entire experience I accumulated in the last, I don't know, three minutes or so is one level up? Dude, I think the new engine is just cheating me. Okay, this is now ridiculous because I didn't even move, you know? Before we could say, okay, there may be a bug that the experience flies towards the point where you pick up the vacuum, so if you move away, you don't get it. But I'm not moving! <laughs> <laughs> I'm as stationary as someone can be. Okay. Well, we have a chance for an Akana bed. Yeah. I mean, it will be an Akana bed, but, like, I'll not get it. Um, I don't even see the, the, the person that has it, you know. So... Where is it, actually? Is it you? No? no I don't see it. If you don't see it... Oh, there it is, over there somewhere. Yeah, there are too many damage numbers now, and the, the bed just gets pushed away way too far. Like, I'll never forget that. So the Super Wind is now maxed out. In case we have a boss that is not back immune, he'll walk through and hopefully we kill him on top of us. And there is a boss like that at 16 minutes, if I'm not mistaken, from Gallo Tower. It's the Triton, or Triton, Poseidon, whatever. It's the fish boy with the... with the... with the... three forked spear. It, it's just... it's just a fancy fork, okay? It, 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 okay, that's it. But he will not take knockback. That means if he spawns and we manage to kill him, that is a bigger problem. We have to manage to kill him before he kills me. But then I could get an evolution. Okay. But actually, we have the freezing stuff on top of me, right? Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, the odds were like near zero. Yeah. Still, what happened to that vacuum? Like, look at the amount of kills we have. 35,000. Which is not a ginormous amount, but it is a lot. Not like 55. That doesn't check out at all. What is going on there? Okay, there's a new chance for a boss. Please. I actually want to have a boss. Uh, it's Gallo Tower. Eh, 
Yeah, I don't think there's a boss right. There's one that he was right next to me to the left there. I don't know if you saw the bunch of damage numbers. Like, at one point, you'll not be able to see any enemies anymore. You only know where they are by the damage numbers. Our cats are going quite ham, okay? Like, even when I don't level up, I still get the drops, the, the breakables and the chickens, so they become more powerful. Right now, they deal 18 to... 28 them 17 16 yes around 20 to 21 damage they deal that is a lot if you take 33 times a second multiplied with 20 that is around 600 to 700 damage per second okay that is a huge amount like compare this to all the other weapons in the game that is a lot okay 14 minutes, new chance for a boss, new chance for an evolution. We can get two evolutions, Silver Wind and the Freezing Mirage Rope. I'm not even sure, do I want to have Mirage Rope, there's a boss, or the... I think I want this. So, when you evolve Silver Wind, it has an insane effect. Oh, he died right next to me, really. It has an insane effect where every single strike on an enemy with the bubbles that are flying around that they become green and they reduce the defense of the enemy. So when there's a boss, you just stack these up like crazy because he also gets frozen, right, with the Mirage Robe. And then he will take a ginormous amount of damage. Every single bit of increased damage is insane because we attack so much. I mean, it's always insane, but especially with Gatia Mari, it just stacks up so quickly and you wipe out bosses, you wipe out entire nations, you turn into the fight nation but you win okay 15 minutes so this is still easy peasy i'm still missing a vacuum <laughs> i swear to god if the cats actually ate that i'll be so mad in editing <laughs> um the uh, and now i'm getting rallied up because i'm like i'm pretty sure there was a vacuum i'm pretty sure and you ate it huh don't do that to me well that's bogus I just got shot at. Luckily, I survived that. Um, okay, if that happens in more extreme ways later on with more damage, I'll just die. And I can't change it. Okay. We have one revival, right? Yeah, we have one revival. Okay, so I can die once, which I don't want to. Oh, there's Gello. Do you see him there? Jumping around. He is ranged, so he will never get close to me either way. I don't even know if he drops a chest. Um, where is he? Uh, there... I just want to know if he drops the chest, but I don't think he does, right? That was like one of those bosses that do nothing. Please don't drop a chest. Just just make me happy, okay? Please don't tell me this, this boss uh, spawn was wasted. 16 minutes! Triton! Gelo Tower! Gelo Tower! Gelo Tower! Gelo Tower! Gelo Tower! Ge mm, well, he can actually kill me, right? Let's just hope it's not Gelo Tower. But he's dead. That is Capella. Oh, yeah, give me a rosary. Who needs anything else? He didn't even die because of a rosary. That's interesting. Yeah, who cares, right? Like, I, I don't need a vacuum. There are probably like 100 levels on the floor. Now, let's be honest. <laughs> I'll just level up once. Um, so we turn into red numbers here. That's good. That means we have... Why are the numbers so high? How many chickens did you eat without me noticing? We had an average damage of 21, now we had an average damage of 27, I would say. Why do I see 40s? Is it really from the cats? I don't think so. No, that's the, the explosions here. Yeah. Okay, well, I really need this experience because otherwise I can't max out my weapons and we can't get to limit break. And it will be so... <gasps> Why? No, the witches are super strong. Oh god, they have like over a thousand HP here. I think the base HP is 220, or maybe it's the ones that spawn later. If it's 220, then it would be multiplied by 4 by 6, depending on how it's calculated. But we actually... We are dealing with them. Are we killing them? We are killing them. Okay. So, they seem to have less HP. I think those only have like 1 out of 10. And that is manageable with our cats, yeah. That makes sense with what we see. Okay, very good. Well, then again, if you deal 30 damage multiplied by 33, that's 900 damage per second. So, it also would make sense to kill them, right? It's kind of funny that we have one weapon that does absolutely nothing. <laughs> There's just a Poent Imitator sitting on top of me, <laughs> juggling his balls. Um, yeah, 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 there's no, there's a boss. Oh. Um. Wow. First of all, big wow for how fast he died, but sadly, yeah, he was at the bottom. If he would have been at the top, I think I would have gotten that chest, right? Maybe. Uh, I'm taking damage. Yeah, my clones are disappearing. No, the dragons are too big. 
Uh, and I'm barely getting any HP from the from the Bloodline Arcana. It's still good because it applies knockback and we have garlic which reduces knockback resistance. So in other words, we become what the magic wand is supposed to do to just knock away the enemies. We do that on our own now, which is insane. Insane value. And we doubled our HP. We also deal damage, contact damage, but it didn't help us all too much, right? Like, I would have rather had Mad Groove now. Though, I gotta say, this run was super consistent. So, I think the way to go is the Bloodline Arcana. You take that, you just survive, you get the run going. Because the biggest issue was, I had like 20 runs before, before I got one valid run. For real? We got a vacuum. Okay, we are level 55 for like 10 minutes almost. I haven't gotten experience. I expect to get like... Okay. <laughs> I got one level up. <laughs> Fix your game. I hate this new engine. Okay, like I want to be really nice. I want to be really nice because the game is so cheap and everything. But you know what we had before? Before, you could play on the public beta, you would just be able to play on the old game and everything worked. It wasn't as flawless as here. The performance of the engine, insanely good. This is, why doesn't this work? I was like, what, like, since like minute 11 or so, I didn't get experience anymore, I don't remember it. But it was a huge amount of time. What did I get? One level up. Again. Do you, there were like 40 level ups in there, at least maybe 50 or 60. This is insane. And you know what's the worst part? This will happen again and again and again and again and again. Oh, I'm just really mad right now. Like, I'm sorry if you love the game. You're like, oh, Dick said something evil. He's so mean towards it. I love the game. But like, this, this is not acceptable. This is like... <laughs> I just want to win. <laughs> Please. Well, I didn't help. No, the enemy. Well, they barely take any damage, right? The good part is they take knockback. You know, while they get struck, do you see that how they wiggle around? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. It's like flipping off like a like a ball sack, you know? <laughs> it's just like wiggle, wiggle. No, like, uh, what am I talking about? I'm getting mad. I'm getting really mad. Yeah, I'm going for Ken Labrador. We need the bonus area to hit the enemies earlier. 21 and 20. Where's the 20 minute boss? Did he die? I guess so. There are so many chests around me. I just want to slightly bump to the left and the right. <laughs> so badly. We have two evolutions possible. So, okay. Can Labrador again? Where's, where's the bed? Um, it's really hard to see anything. Do you see anything? I can turn off the damage. I think it's above me, right? Yeah, okay, so turning off the damage numbers doesn't help at all, right? Yeah, I took damage. Oh god, it's starting because I don't have my stuff maxed out. Oh, okay, Night Sword. Night Sword. Why? Where's that coming from? So, did I just pick up all the experience that I didn't pick up before? <laughs> you are. <laughs> You are, you are, oh, might on the cats is insanely good, we need that. That's like eating a chicken, but better, because the chicken doesn't give that much anymore, now, um, meanwhile. Yeah, area is very good, I think, area is very good. Okay, okay, I'm getting all the experience, you just have to complain about it, see? That's how it works. Now, nah, like, for real, that, that's not great, but it's now fine, because at least we got it, you know, a mount. Sure. Okay, so let me just quickly do all of these. The highest priority is the cats and a mount when I get that because the more we strike enemies, the better. Yep, there's another mount. Very beautiful. Area. Uh, this is the freeze explosion, correct? I think... Uh, no, I do remember there was something off about it. Like, something didn't work the way I expected. And I think it doesn't affect the freeze explosion. It affected something else. Um, maybe I'm wrong with that, though. Area on the garlic means more knockback resistance reduction. Area on you is very good. Um, speed on you means you move faster. Area on you. Yes, we have a bunch of level ups to go through, but as I said, we had like 40 level ups at least. Okay, we have 107. <laughs> nice! That was just in time, I think, because I was about to die. Amount is very... Well, they all stack just on top of me. Okay, 110, yeah. Yeah, so we were at 55, and now that we collected all, we got another 55 level ups. And, um... Look at the screen. Isn't this beautiful? You see a screen filled with damage numbers and we are not even moving. We are doing nothing at all. Oh my god, look at how big my balls are. Do you see them flying around? They are ginormous now with the area boost. Oh, that was so worth it. 
Yeah. And what is happening down there? Oh, there's a cat fight cloud, right? Yeah. Whenever you see a bajillion of numbers, it's cats fighting. Sadly, I got the chicken there. That's okay. I just want my cats to have that. Wait. No, that's not cat fight clouds. Wait, why is the damage so low? Wasn't it red before? Do you remember that? So, in other words, we become what the magic wand is supposed to do. Yeah, look at this. It's way lower. Wait, what? Wait, what happened to the cats? The 16 to 25? What? Wait, what? How is this possibly so low? Don't tell me picking up might reset all of their scaling every single time. No, there's no... Wait, but why is it so low? That makes zero sense. Because I picked up so many might upgrades, every single one of them should give them 0 0.5 damage. Because it increases the base damage. Wait, what? Huh? Okay, that's now really bogus, because we were so high. The other 40 that you see is just the fireworks, but this should be way higher. This is simply even just based on the limit break stats that I picked up. What? I'm so salty right now, because the entire point of this was to charge up the cats as much as possible. And now they deal the same damage as they did level 1. You know, I think back then they already had the 16 to 25, an average of 20 damage. That is maddening. That, that is so sad. Yay, fire breathing. Woohoo, that means I need a magnet. Yeah, I'm not getting any experience. And that means it will be pointless. <laughs> it will just do nothing at all. Because you already know it. Yeah, I don't even think I'll get another magnet with my luck. Yeah. Okay, so like... Bah. I got another rosary. I really want to see the stats at the end of how many things I picked up. How many vacuums did we get? I think like two or three. Like early on we got a few, but when it mattered we didn't get one anymore. There's another boss, but yeah, he'll never land on top of me. They have to land on top of me, get frozen and die on top of me. Ah, but it's frozen, they can still get pushed away, right? Yeah, I think. So 25 minutes. This is where the major boss on every single stage spawns. He is like the, the one dude that you prepare for. This is like everything that I did up until now is for that boss and this is why I'm so mad that my Gatia Mari deals no damage anymore. And look at its damage, it's already climbing up again. Do you see that? Like the highest number in there is what, 26? Yeah, 26. So the average damage is 21. It keeps going up again. But that means it got reset down. Somehow. Oh my god, I'm so scared of this boss fight, please. Because that's always a boss that takes no knockback. And that makes a majority of our weapons useless. Who's like the easiest boss there? Like, on every single stage they are hardcore, right? Okay. The good thing is the enemies are blocking the path a little bit, so maybe it will delay the boss. It's Gallo Tower. Gallo Tower 25 minute boss? Is it a swordsman? The big, stronger swordsman? I don't see anything. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> I love how I didn't even notice the crab sitting on top of me. That must be that must be the worst one out of all of them. Yeah. Great. That's just great. <gasps> what? Wait, what? <gasps> What happened? I don't know. I don't care. That's beautiful. Well, like, okay, so again, it's like it's like the worst evolution I could have possibly gotten here. Um, but that is insane. That is pure insanity. I just got an evolution. What happened there? Did he bounce off or something? Because I didn't look. Okay, you guys can see it because I'll show the footage I already did. But like, um, huh? Well, okay, so I really want to focus on the silver wind, I guess. Yeah. Uh, sure, let's just... Well, I need to max out the healing as well, right? Need both of them. So what I'm missing right now is the fireworks. If I don't get them, then we have no guarantee to get a vacuum. Though I know this, my cats are continuously eating. So they find breakables, and if they deliver a vacuum to me, I don't even need the fireworks, okay? Which is good. So, let's just look for something. Yeah, that's really bad. Okay, well, that was my last reroll. Here's my HP, by the way, it's the same as the last time. I don't... well, it depends on what spawns, okay? So these enemies, they're bumping me a lot, do you see that? So my HP is going up, which is good. As long as I don't die, of course. But, but this time, I have Tiragisu. 
That also means I need to drop uh, some other items, you know. But totally fine, we don't have Clover. I don't need it, it's totally fine. Oh, I also don't have Ken Labrador. Is that fine? Sure. I don't even know what I want as final item. Wait, what do I want? Actually, both Spinach and Ken Labrador are insane. But I think Spinach is actually better, right? Well, no, I should go for Toruna then. Yeah, because, well... The luck is a lot. It's not that much, actually. You have 460%, you get 50% on top of that. So it's like only 25% increased luck. Well, it's 33%, a little bit uh, less than that. 30%. Yeah. It doesn't really change that much, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I will go for... Toruna? Candy box? Wait. <laughs> this one heals a stupid amount. But I think this one is more important, right? Oh, I could get any weapon, though. <laughs> Do I want to be utterly stupid? Do we want to make this a real dex video? Yeah, the three E's, right? Experience, endurance, and intelligence! I got the bone with the ball and a lot of balls flying around me. This is perfect. Let's go. This was a horrible decision. This was one of the worst things I could have possibly done. And I'm a huge fan of it. And you know what? We'll go for Toruna now because duration and projectile speed are insane on the bone. So I'll focus on the other weapons first because I don't want to kill the enemies far away. You know, we'll do this towards the end. And I also want to evolve the Silver Wind. Well, I hope I will evolve the Silver Wind. That means we need to max out Pomorula and the weapon itself. So the bone is not as much as a meme as you may think. It's a super incredibly powerful weapon that is an expert weapon at killing bosses because it bounces around so fast and so much. The only downside is I wanted the fireworks, right? And because I don't have the fireworks, it will be a lot harder to get experience. Because, like, as I said, the cats sometimes you hear like a... That's them eating chickens. That means they break something somewhere. But it happens so rarely. Like, it happens super rarely. And that's a problem. Who thought that the answer to everything is having two large rods and two balls? <laughs> Actually, I have a lot of balls. Look at this. It's an enormous amount of balls. Look at this. Oh my god, I have a lot of balls. The duplicator is really putting in some work here. Wow, what a difference. Okay. Well, it's kind of insane, isn't it? That boss sadly can't evolve. That boss also can't evolve because it's from the Mad Forest. Yeah, so it doesn't even matter if I get a chest. Okay, we have a problem. I'm at a point I barely get experience anymore. Do you see that? It's not because of kills, but... Or is it the projectiles? That could also be it. I think they count as kills. Yeah, they do count as kills. Like, when they hit you and um, you destroy them, they also count as retaliatory damage, but they'll never hit me because Soul Eater is just eating them. Um, the issue is... Wait, you're maxed out. I just need one more level in Pomerola. And then, we, then it's okay if I don't level up anymore and we just wait for Vacuum. You know, one day, maybe, hopefully. And because it still means when a chest drops on top of me, the weapon can evolve. So it's very important that with the next level up, I get the final level in Pumoruda that I will be able to evolve. And in case you're wondering, for some weird reason, the DLC weapons require a maxed out passive instead of just a level 1. Don't ask me why that's the case, because it's not the case for the base game. Oh, that's bad. Um, Hollow Heart would also be insane, right? Wait, Hollow Heart would be incredibly insane. Do I want to have that? Um, I mean, I didn't take it now, but think about it. If I increase my HP by 20 times 20 times 20 times... It's a lot of HP. I would go up to like 500 at least. Okay, perfect. Yeah, 500 at least. And when I die and respawn, I respawn with half HP. So 250 every single time. That is a huge difference to what we have right now, which would be around 100 HP, yeah, 110. Um, is that better than Toruna, though? Because Toruna buffs up so many of my weapons. The cats get fully buffed, victory sword, only area and damage. Um, yeah, okay, that's bad. Let's banish... Let's banish the stone mass for now. You only in area and damage, but you get buffed up in every way. You get buffed up in every way. Three of our weapons fully benefit from it. So do I want to do that? I mean, I could just do it. The combo finish is bad. Um, sure, why not? It's only bad because it's such a huge area. So yeah, the experience will be a problem. Huh. But that's a valid 
question now if you just want to be but i don't have armor is the thing you know like having a huge amount of hp does make a ginormous difference why am i wait i just noticed something i'm losing my shield all the time wait why am i still losing that the cat should be more than happy and fine and dandy to not attack me anymore oh i, I guess they still attack me okay uh, good that i have laurel right <laughs> Great, yeah, yeah. <gasps> okay, I mean, no, I have to. It's way too much. Yeah, I have to. So looking at the amount of experience I'm getting, I'm pretty sure we are at the cap of experience. So luckily, we are still collecting some of it. Why am I collecting it from so far away from there? Oh wait, we have a huge circle here. Yeah, look at that. But yeah, I have a very bad feeling that uh, this will be over very soon. I haven't gotten a vacuum the entire game long. I still hear them sometimes eating a chicken, but looking at the damage, they barely eat chickens at all. Okay, the damage is super ridiculously low. So, the odds of us getting a vacuum near zero? Yeah, I mean... I knew the bone wasn't a good idea, but it's the best thing that happened to me, okay? Yeah, now we're just in the waiting room for vacuum, which will never happen, probably. Oh god. Poseidon! That's him! That's the dude that I wanted! <laughs> yes! We lowered the defense of the enemies! That is insane! That is insanity! This is so good! Why is it so so jiggly? Is it always like that? I don't remember it that way. Doesn't matter. That is insane. Because that means if a boss... Well, but I don't freeze the bosses anymore, right? Yeah, because I don't have the freeze weapon. But it's still okay. Yeah, right. Because the boss will sit on top of me and will get hit by the beams here. And then he constantly gets weaker. And we have three revivals. If this is not enough, I'll eat a shoe. So there is actually a funny chance why this, what we are doing right now, is working way better than anything else we could do. And listen up. A ton of the enemies in this game have their HP multiplied with your level. Now, if you play without inverse mode, there are some weapons that can actually outscale the growth of the enemies. You know, like every single limit break level up, if you get more damage and the enemies gain HP, you outscale them. However, most weapons don't do that, okay? And especially when you have six weapons, you definitely don't do that. And with inverse mode and on green acres, you definitely, definitely don't do that. So you actually don't want to max out. However, especially with bonus amount, you multiply the damage that you deal. So you want to have some limit break and then you would want to stop, okay? You just don't want to uh, level up anymore. Well, to be fair with the cats, where they attack 33 times a second, you pretty much gain 16.5 damage multiplied with your might every single time you pick that up. So that's a different story. It's one of the few weapons that outscale the enemies easily because of this insane amount of attack frequency. And keep in mind, you can have multiple of these clouds stacked on top of each other, you know? Like, if there are six cats, they'll cre uh, create three clouds. That means you multiply the damage growth you have by three and you can easily keep up with the enemies. That's the reason why I went for them. But because we are stuck at level 67, that means the enemies don't grow at all, ever, anymore. And the real question is, is this just enough? We have two evolutions. Well, one of them sucks, the Solito doesn't really do anything, but the festive winds is insane, okay? And it may just be enough to kill the boss at 25 minutes, but we have a new problem, okay? Now that we are way better at dealing with one strongest enemy, because he's not as strong as he used to be um we have to deal with the minute 28 and 29 okay <laughs> you know because our aoe clear because we have less amount because we have no limit break has gotten a lot worse like a lot a lot so yeah let's just hope for the best i guess but there's the arcana bed by the way you see it down there yeah, well, we'll never get that. Don't you think it's insane that our cats barely scaled at all? Like, look at their low damage numbers. And we still deal with the enemies right now, simply because we have such a low level. Actually, these ones may have set HP now that I think about it. But yeah, the cats are just insane. Like, even right now, at only 10 average damage, that's still 330 damage per second. That is a lot. And then combine it with our other weapons that we have. Like, this one here, the bone, does 100. Pretty sure that's a bone at least. Is it a festive wins? Oh, that's a festive wins. No, is it? The 100s? I'm not sure because they appear so rarely, but the festive winds also doesn't always hit. Uh, do we see a bone flying around somewhere? Oh, Capella. Oh, that's bad. So we can still get some level ups in our weapons if a boss lands on top of me. 
Are we good? Um, yeah, I'm not too sure about this. I, I'm not too sure at all. How much HP do I have? 627? Wait, when did that happen? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> That's amazing! And I didn't even notice that! Because I was just sitting here waiting for 25 minutes. Wait, when did that happen? There must have been a wave that constantly touched me and I somehow killed them with retaliatory damage instead of the cats. Wait, I'm still... Wait, what? How am I still... What? Do the cat scratches count as bonus HP? Because I don't see enemies hitting me, I'll be honest. Maybe some of the enemies are actually getting far in enough. Yeah, look at this, it's going up. Wait, do the cat scratches count as... No, but that would have worked the last run already too, right? Okay, who do we... Oh, Mad Forest. Isn't that the easiest 25 minute boss in existence? Where is the big jungus? Where is the big lady? Huh? 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 Yeah, dare to, dare to sit on me. I want the chest, please. Where is it? I don't see her. Doesn't she... Wait. Huh? I'll be honest. I haven't seen her and I don't know where she is. Okay, for real. Have you seen the big Venus? No, she spawns at 20? 25? I think 25, right? Interesting. Maybe she already died. Like, you could check this if you go before 25 minutes and see if there's a chest that appeared. There's also one down there. Um, but, like, I thought we would easily identify her. Yeah. That's a little bit weird. That's really weird. <laughs> I'll not complain. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, now I want to pause the recording and just check before 25 minutes and after 25 minutes, like what chess got added. But either way, okay, let, let's let's hope for the best. So we're 26 minutes in. I don't think you can get uh, stages from the challenge stages, right? But, but you can get it from the bone zone, that also means you can get it from the abyss. Right? Oh no. Wait, can you actually get it from the bone zone? I'm not too sure if you can or if this is just a false belief that I have. Because if you can get it from the bone zone, then you can also get it from the dark abyss. And this would be horrible. Because they have like the strongest enemy in this entire world. Um, okay. Wait, how much HP do I have? Because I have 657. It keeps going up. Interesting. Look at this. Well, it's no longer going up. So it's not the cats. Well, it keeps going up. But I think it's just the ch uh, chickens bouncing into me, right? But I don't even have armor. I don't deal a lot of retaliatory damage. But I have the victory sword. I'm a dingus. It deals retaliatory damage with six strikes. And it has a lot of damage. Okay. okay and that, that is why I get so much. Yes, of course. So if one tanky enemy is on top of me like the plants, then my retaliatory strikes will kill a lot of enemies. I get a lot of HP. We are happy and dandy. We are broken. This is insane. Okay, I'm still looking out for the lady, but this is not the boss lady, yeah, this is just a normal lady. Hmm. I got cheated out of my big boobas. <laughs> oh, there's a bet over there. Oh, goodbye, bet. So yeah, we just crossed the two hour mark with the half an hour that I cut off in the beginning by accident. Um, that is, honestly, that is a very solid time. I feared that this will take like 10 hours or so, knowing that some of these these challenges, you know, they've taken 7 hours, 5 hours, stuff like that. Um, but I would say the intelligence actually worked out, you know, the experience, endurance, intelligence. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah Capella. Okay. The problem is they are big and they push each other into me. So once this layer of 20... That's just 28 minutes. Oh, that's not even 29. Okay. Um, that's totally fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yes, I'm losing HP. You see that right. I'm not really healing anymore because my Soul Eater and my Festive Winds are not killing the enemies. That's a problem that I was talking about, you know. It's great that we have the evolutions, but they don't do anything anymore if we can't kill the enemies. And you know when the enemies are a real problem? When we can't kill them anymore. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, um... Why is everything dealing so much damage all of a sudden? What happened to my cats? Do you see that? They just... They were at like average 16 damage, not at 25... What? 
Where did it come from? Where did it go? Where did it come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Oh, that's insane. Okay, do I lose HP? I only lose HP, I don't gain HP. Oh, I thought maybe that's retaliatory damage, but no, they're actually bumping into me. 29. Why is it Dairy Bland? No! No! No, that's like a nightmare! They are incredibly powerful! Okay, um. Can we please just kill them? The, the funny thing is, I think they're actually stronger than those on the on the capella. <laughs> I think those are the strongest ones in this entire game. I may be wrong with that, but if I remember it right, they're the highest max HP. But the thing is, we reduce armor, which is good. That is very good. Okay. Keep in mind, we have three revive. There's no way we lose this, right? Yeah, there's no way. Oh my god, we actually did it. I can't believe it. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ding, 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 why am I dealing 300 damage there? Did you see some of these numbers? 3222. Yeah, look at this. Why am I suddenly dealing 300 damage? That's Gatiamari. What's happened with that? Is it though? <gasps> because I'm missing so much HP. It, I have the Bloodline Arcana. It bumps up its dam. Oh, I'm stupid. Yeah, of course. Okay, Gatia Mario was by far the best one, but what is the second best one? Victory Sword, actually. Soul Eater was also solid. Festive Wind was also solid. Silver Wind was also solid. Okay. Yeah, Divine Bloodline is like, yeah, <laughs> bone. <laughs> okay. I have to make a confession. I have a tiny bone. But I hope you enjoyed the. <laughs> Look at this on me. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.